Well, with Forza, we want to appeal to a wide range of customers, and people play the game for a lot of different reasons. Real-world tracks are compelling because people want to go out and drive the tracks that they see on TV, and famous race car drivers have driven from all around the world these exotic locations. Hockenheim, in particular, was a great opportunity for us to get a track in Germany and have some balance across Europe. Hockenheim's a great track. It's been in DTM, it's been in lots of great sports car racing, as well as other types of racing around the world. It's a really old track. Uh, it's a very high speed track. So it had a lot of great components for us. Hagenheim is, is very different from the Alps. It's in the middle of Germany, so it's one of the flattest tracks in the world. There really isn't any elevation change to the track itself. So it's just a very different experience. It's completely surrounded by trees, almost that sort of black forest feel. So that's something that we try to keep in mind as well. Last year, Turn 10 Studios traveled to Germany to capture the track to bring it to life in Forza Motorsport 4. First thing we wanted to do was drive around the track and get multiple perspectives of video for reference. And that really helps us get a good feeling for the track and help the other artists that weren't fortunate enough to come on the trip. Be able to get a real perspective of how things correlate to one another. My plan was to capture every square inch of this place, from the smallest details like tire skids to uh, spherical panoramas. Between the three of us, I would estimate that we won't be leaving this track with less than 10,000 photos. We have many different techniques for capturing the track. One of them is that we lay down GPS splines. So we'll actually walk or drive around the track with different GPS devices so that we can accurately reproduce the uh, topography and the camber of the track. There's a guy that wears this military grade GPS harness with his little antenna. It's sub centimeter accurate on the horizontal and it's sub foot accurate on the vertical. And he walks the edges of the tracks. The poor guy that has this has to walk the inner and outer loops of this circuit and then get the outer barrier so that we get the exact information of where the ribbon goes, where the curbing is, where the walls are, all the structures. Everything is inch perfect where this stuff exists, all the camber angles in the corners. Generally, the process for creating a track tends to be the same for all tracks. Um, there'll be slight differences between real world and fictional tracks. But the first thing we say is, what, what is the feel for this track? What are we trying to impart to the player? When it comes to real world tracks, we want to make them as accurate as possible. Hockenheim in particular, that comes down to the, uh, the Mercedes grandstand. There's a grandstand there that's shaped like a giant sea, and it dominates the entire track. It's almost like a monument to the area itself, so um, we put a lot of detail into it. When you do look at it, it just has this um, sense of presence. When we feel this is really solid, we move on to the next stage, which is your refine phase, and we start doing our textures. So basically everything is there and to a level that we would consider shippable, but may not have that extra level of sparkle that we want it to. And then we take it into the polish phase, which is where all the love comes in. We get in and we model all the little details where we try and say, okay, at this point, we know a lot of people are gonna hit this corner. So we're actually gonna scuff this corner up a little bit so that it's got a little bit of that character to it. For the ultimate test, we'll bring in pro race drivers, guys like Gunnar Jeanette, who've actually raced on a lot of these tracks, to give us his feedback. Because it can be inch perfect, but he can be like, you know, I use this brake marker, this rubber strip, right before the curbing on this, and then I turn, and this seems like it's happening just a little bit late, or this bump isn't quite bad enough. This upsets my car when I go in over here. So we go in there and we make sure we get all those little subtleties right as well. So when you're racing a track like Hockenheim in the game, it's gonna feel and look just like it does in the real world to real drivers. We've measured, we've filmed, and we've photographed. It's time to take all of that source material and bring it to life. Here it is in all its glory in Forza Motorsport 4. It's Hockenheim.